up y'all i'm back again this is mo i'm here for another installment of mo media and i'm just here to talk about a couple things i really wanted to be on the camera truth be told but i'm just here to talk about a couple things um that happened that's been going on in the past couple days week or so i guess well i'm gonna just say the past couple days i'm only going to talk about two things today and the first one being jeanette mccurdy y'all remember sam from iCarly? And then later on, Sam and Kat, this story doesn't have anything to do with iCarly at all. This is her experience with Sam and Kat. Um, so, Jeanette McCurdy recently put out a new book titled, I'm Glad My Mom Died. The shock factor is definitely there. But in the book, she goes into how her mom's death, you know, triggered some things and made her really go into healing and become the best version of herself. It just sucks that her mom had to die for her to do better for herself um and also a little bit of me still thinks she's going to hell for naming the book that just out of respect but you know the mom was not a great person at all you know everybody needs to respect and cherish their children however you know i'm glad my mom dies i'm glad my mom died just sounds a little a little evil a little evil to me um but moving on let me get you the article let me read you this article from hollywood unlocked and give me your opinions so the article reads former child actor jeanette mccurdy revealed her experience working with nickelodeon and the exploitation she faced plus her toxic relationship with her mother in an excerpt from her memoir i'm glad my mom died mccurdy revealed the explorative moment she faced as a child actor while working on the sets of iCarly and Sam and Cat. She was asked to be photographed in a bikini in a bikini during a wardrobe fitting and pressured to drink alcohol by an intimidating figure called the creator. And this is Dan. What's his name? Let me look it up for y'all. And this is Dan Snyder. This is Dan Snyder. Y'all already know. He came out with iCarly, Drake and Josh, Victorious, a lot of great content, but the man was sick. He wanted the children to show their feet. He had them in bikinis. Jeanette is alleging that a creator asked her to drink to make her feel comfortable. So I'm, I'm, my guess is that it's Dan Snyder allegedly having these kids do all this bad stuff, illegal stuff, drinking, taking pictures of kids in bikinis. And then it's the parents. And then it's the parents that allow their children to be exploited. So um, it's n- no one wins in this situation. No one wins. Really? McCurdy noted that her mother didn't attempt to intervene when the moment happened and allegedly told her, everyone wants what you have. She adds, my whole childhood and adolescence was very exploited. There were t- cases where people had the best intentions and maybe didn't know what they were doing. And also cases where they did. They knew exactly what they were doing. This is sad. This is sad that she has to even reflect on this. And she was a child during all of this. Um, The sad thing, like I've been saying throughout all this. The sad thing is that this was her mother. And this is a child. child. Children are helpless. They can't provide for themselves. They really depend on everyone around them for their survival. So I think it's horrible. That everyone around Jeanette McCurdy was letting her down constantly and constantly and constantly. And her mom was the first one to start letting her down and letting, um, and you know, to accept other people letting her, her child down for a coin. I don't know if I could let other people exploit my child for money. I don't know if I could do that. I definitely could not. Now, I know we're talking about millions, million big bucks here, and they were going from poverty to big bucks, but I still. Um, the character that I have, I couldn't have my child do that. You, It's crazy that the mom didn't go into acting or the mom didn't want to put any work in, rather exploit her daughter. In my opinion, my opinion on this whole situation is electric chair, electric chair. A lot of people don't agree with the electric chair, but I definitely do. Definitely in this situation, because like I was saying before, children are so helpless and they need everyone around them to, you know, ensure their survival think about it a kid can't cook for themselves they can't go anywhere for themselves they depend on each each person in their lives whether it's their parents whether it's who they leave their parent you know who the parents leave the children with 
a teacher, a family member, but they, a child is always dependent on the adult that's with them. So the fact that Jeanette McCurdy was let down so many times and her mother allowed her to be let down is ridiculous. But, you know, her mom ended up getting cancer, I believe. She ended up passing away. And it's it's so hard. It's so hard to feel bad for the mom because if she wasn't, you know, unalive, if she was still here roaming the earth, I think she may still be. She still would have been pushing Jeanette to be that, you know, big star that the mother wanted her to be. Uh, the book goes into the mom pushing Jeanette into music into acting, into everything that would get her a coin. And then the book further goes into how Jeanette felt some jealousy um, toward Ariana Grande, who she had felt her mom gave her everything, and she had a positive, positive relationship with her mom. And that gave her success. That gave her genuine success. Of course, Ariana had money. Ariana's mother was very wealthy. But I think more than that, Jeanette was jealous of the lifestyle Ariana got, the perks Ariana got, um, and, you know, just her whole support system. Because Ariana came into the whole industry with people backing her with her, with her best intentions. Sam, not me saying Sam, um, Jeanette McCurdy didn't have that experience with her being pushed into the industry with support. With people backing her. I'm sure Ariana had lawyers. Had so many people looking at her contract. But Jeanette McCurdy. Her and her mom were probably saying. How much are you going to give me? And we'll do it. There's a difference. So I definitely understand how. You know Jeanette would become envious. Jealous of Ariana. However this don't got nothing to do with Ariana. She was living her best life. You know this is one thing. And I think Jeanette admits it. This is one thing that you have to deal with internally ariana had nothing to do with you know Jeanette's problems and what she felt she deserved and all that type of stuff i know that they got into some um arguments they got into some spats because ariana was allowed to take some time off for her career that Jeanette was not allowed to do so that could that could have contributed to the jealousy to the envy as well uh but at the same time i do love that Jeanette pointed out that was my problem those were my problems internally you know at the end of the day ariana had nothing to do with what was going on with me we're co-workers we were co-workers my life has nothing to do with her life just because she has a great life doesn't mean that i'm entitled to a great life because we have these we have the same job you know mm -hmm. i'm just gonna talk about a little about traumazine by megan the stallion it was a great album. It went number one on iTunes, and Megan was so excited. She said on Instagram, this is the first time I've ever had a, a number one album on iTunes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, now I got to drop the video to celebrate, so expect the video. Her new album, Traumazine, was great. Um, She touched on some topics that she touched on in Good News, how the world um, was, is, is definitely against her in the whole situation regarding um her and another r&b artist getting into an assault type situation we already know what went down with that but i'm not even gonna get into it so she touched on those elements a lot of people on twitter say they love megan's song nda i love the song nda i don't like this her new single sounds like it's gonna be her um she performed her at central park so i think that's gonna be her new single but i love nda and i also love um I like Pressure Licious. I don't know. The Future's verse wasn't worth 250k, but if you got 250k to put ver uh to put Future on your song, spend it, I guess, but it definitely wasn't maybe 150k. Maybe 100k. Definitely not 250k for that verse, but I'm not Future and I'm not Megan. I don't know what she was looking for for the song. She could have been looking for exactly what Future gave her, so I don't know. But to me, it wasn't worth 250k. Celebrities like Cardi B and Offset have given her compliments on the album. Isn't that coincidental? Cardi B and Offset love the album. They probably listened to it together. Imagine Cardi B on one side of the house, Offset downstairs. They both listening to the album. 
tweeting that Megan Thee Stallion their favorite songs and they ain't even talked to each other about it. But that's so coincidental that both of them reached out to Megan via, you know, social media telling her that they do love the album. Um, Offset loves NDA. Cardi B loves her. Her is just going to have to grow on me. Maybe. Because if Cardi B like Cardi B got taste. So if she liked it, you know, maybe I got to give it another listen. But other than that, that's all. Go listen to Traumazine. It's a really good album. And let me know what's y'all favorite song off of Traumazine. Are y'all tired of the whole, you know, narrative within this whole court case Megan Thee Stallion has going on? Do y'all really just want the, the courts to play it out? I'm ready for the the court process to start because this is getting this is going on for way too long. Granted, Megan is expressing herself and she has every right to do that. This is her life, so why wouldn't she rap about this situation? However, I do want the courts to do their job and I want to see their result. I want to see the result via the courts and all the evidence and stuff like that. I don't know what's taking them so long. I really don't. Maybe maybe the R&B artist that allegedly assaulted her is dragging this out. Because how do we still not know, you know, if you're going to jail or not? Come on now. That is so what y'all think. Y'all think this R&B go- artist is going to jail or no? A lot of people don't think this R&B artist is going to jail for assaulting her. And I'm not, you know what? I said I wasn't going to get into that. But um, let's just see what the courts say. In 2030, do y'all think that she released this album, Traumazine, um, just to get out of that 1501 deal, 1501 Entertainment deal? She had a three album deal with them, and this will be fulfilling that that contract. So, you congratulations, you free, you free, you free, Megan. So hopefully you can sign with Rock Nation or whoever, or you can stay independent if you want to, but. I guess I'm going to have to go back and stream this album again, see what I like, see if I like her again or if it's still not doing it for me. Even if I don't like that one song, you know, there's still many on the album, so I'll probably love the other ones. They'll probably grow on me after listening to it again. Um, Other than that, ain't nothing else. I don't got nothing else for y'all. I'll talk to you later. Make sure y'all stream my song, Sip You Up. It's on all platforms. After y'all stream Traumazine, make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all comment on the video. And make sure y'all subscribe. Always. Always, always, always. And I'll be back for another one. Um, But make sure y'all for real let me know what y'all thought about everything in this video. Do y'all think Jeanette McCurdy was doing too much by naming the book I'm Glad My Mom Died? Or do y'all think that, you know, if you're glad your, your mom is dead, you can name the book that you think um it's her MO? Or you think that was way too much? Do you think she's going to hell? Also, do you think that Trauma Zine, do you think that Megan is just stretching this whole thing, this whole assault for numbers? Or do you think this is real? It's her MO too. This is her life. Do you agree with me on that standpoint? Um, or do you think she's doing too much? There are a lot of people that still just don't like Meg for whatever reason. They think she's doing too much. So let me know. And there, you know, maybe you got some valid reasons for that. So let me know. Drop it down in the comments. I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Peace.